I just thought I would intro this video here because today we are filming, wait for it, wait for it, a thrift with me. Okay, I am so excited. This is the first time, first time in like seven months since this lockdown scenario, business, whatever's going on with the world, that I have been thrifting. So I'm going to take you around some of my favourite thrift stores or as we call them in the UK, charity shop. I swear thrift stores is just a fancy way of saying charity shop. But anyway, we're going thrifting and I'm going to hopefully find some cool bits, some bargains and I might have a look at like the homeware bits, see if there's any vases or anything like that for my new house. But anyway, see you at the thrift stores. Yo, I am just in a little town and I'm walking to the first charity shop now. First one I think is called Age UK and it's actually normally my favourite so fingers crossed but I'm in a small town and they're really not used to, to vloggers so I'm going to be hella awkward. I headed straight to the knitwear section because I thought, you know, it's autumn, I might find something cute, but alas, we didn't really find anything here until I found this little number, which I thought was so autumnal, the colours and everything, and I thought the collar was kind of cute, especially if it was layered underneath something and poking out, you know, the vibe I'm going for. Anyway, I thought it was kind of cute, so I hung on to that and it was only 6 99 I then headed over to the like light jacket section where I didn't find much but I did find this super cool blazer which I thought would look really cute worn oversized with a belt and it was only $4.99 which I thought was a bargain. I then found a couple of leather jackets, this green one which I thought was kind of quirky but I wouldn't buy it and then I also found this sort of vintage leather one which I actually really liked, I don't know, I think you could style it pretty nicely. They were also about $10.99 which isn't too bad. I found some other smart coats just from Zara and I thought they were really reasonably priced because they were all brand new with the tags so that's kind of cool. Meanwhile there really just were a hell of a lot of stripy tops, I don't know what it is for charity shops but there were so many stripy tops but literally they were all like one pound it was ridiculous so if you want a stripy top go to charity shop oh then i found this which is probably my favorite find of the whole day real leather shirling jacket it was 29.99 which on the face of it seems expensive but it's leather it's shirling it's vintage and it was so warm so i really wanted this what do you think do you like it yes no i don't know i was kind of obsessed I also have a bit of a guilty pleasure for like granddad sweatshirts that literally your 90 year old granddad would wear but I don't know, I like a knitwear so this was kind of cool but not enough to buy. Then I faced the biggest dilemma over whether to buy one of these three items or all of them. I was really quite stuck, loved this, loved this and I also loved the knitwear so I was hella stuck. I then headed to the homeware section and there were a few cute vases and crockery sets but nothing really took my eye. Even though everything was literally like a pound so if you want glasses and stuff like that that is really cheap then definitely go to your charity shop because it's so cheap for a set of crockery. I think I'll take you to is cancer research but I was so obsessed with that leather jacket I wanted it so bad it was $29.99 I might have to go back for it but the sheepskin leather coat I was obsessed with but next up is cancer research so I will show you that in two seconds everyone is looking at me so bye So in Age UK I headed upstairs to their vintage room and I literally found the most magnificent treasure trove. It was crazy up here. It was honestly Olivia heaven. I was so excited. Honestly, look at this place. How amazing is that? So the first thing I found was this Tommy Hilfiger rain jacket. It was literally $19.99 and I was so in love with it. I thought it was super cute, layered with a hoodie underneath and just some jeans and I really, really quite liked it. 
Tommy Hilfiger jacket and I am so obsessed in this mega, mega thrift store. I then found this really cute little bucket bag which looks like a kid's little school bag but it was a red check and I thought it was really cute and retro and I totally vibed with that. I then found this sort of green teal knitwear which I want to say is one of those like Kugi sweatshirts is that sweatshirts is that how you say it I don't know I'm probably gonna get loads of hate because they literally sell for like 200 pounds and this one was 12.99 and I definitely know it's not a Kugi sweater but it looks like that kind of vibe so I thought it was cool I also found this sweater vest you know how in style and obsessed people are with sweater vests recently well i found this one for 4.99 it was a button up and i thought it was kind of cute and it was actually a marlboro classic and i kind of liked it i then found this super cool black bomber jacket which i thought would look really really cute as an evening jacket it was velvet and had a little bit of embroidery on it and it was 12 pounds so we love that then there was just a cabinet full of old fancy costume jewelry and look at this place it's amazing i then found this basketball sweatshirt which was really really proper vintage and old and it was cute and i really liked that as well it was like 7.99 or something so that was cool anyway bye wanted the Tommy Hilfiger rain jacket and also the little like gilet sweater vest I thought that was so cute for like 4.99 or whatever it was and also that basketball jacket and the like poogie um sweatshirt that was hella cute but I didn't buy anything um so yeah it's just about to rain so good timing but I hope you enjoyed thrifting with me Ciao till next time guys